Good morning. All right. So some of that stuff that's not marked will just have to, you know, cut a deal, you know? Because, like, sometimes you get to these mugs and it's like, oh. You know, you get to, like, you know what you, you know what, some things are cost. Yeah, that's a little stuff. You're like, ah, let's see. The more you buy, the more you get, the more you save. Put it that way. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Mom, just stay there. Stay, just stay there. Unless you want to sit in a, in the office chair, maybe. Do you want to sit in the office chair? Do you want to sit in that black chair pretty. in the office chair? Would you like to sit there? Look in here. It's really comfortable. Would you like to sit in that? Can you sit up a little taller? Right here? Yeah. Okay, come up here and we'll sit down. Okay, I'm gonna hold the chair because I want it this way. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. If I um, if I make a pile, are your prices yeah. negotiable? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, you know, well, the more you get, the better it is. Sure. Okay, where so where just, where where, where oh, is good? Right there. You're right there. Okay, that's perfect. Thing, so. Then that's Any what I'm gonna room? do. There's more counter. There's more little tables. Okay. okay. I just wanted to ask. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, those are pretty butterfly meadow. It's crazy. She loved butterflies. It's, it's I, I could tell, but it, these are beautiful. These are these are very pretty. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Excuse me. All right. Is it the whole house or no, is it the whole house? house. Oh, okay. Okay. Upstairs, there's two bedrooms upstairs. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. That that helps. Yeah, everything. How much do you want for the games? Bedroom. Okay. All right. Sorry, it's early. I haven't. Um. Oh, closet. Oh, these are pretty. Let me see what they'll do for the purses. 
Um, I think that goes with this. Yeah. All right, I am not sure. Okay, so I think this is the one that I, I'm going to like. Oops, sorry. Um, I can't point that high up. This is pretty, pretty high, but I grabbed this little doony right here. It's cute. Um, we do have like shoes and things like that. I know, I know it's a little dark in here and I apologize. Um, there's just no way of, uh, making that any better for you. There's only one light in here. So, um, I didn't realize it was going to be everything in the house. I thought it was just going to be, you know, what was outside. So I guess we will just walk around then. That's kind of fun. You guys, this is a beautiful bed too. Look at how pretty this bed is. I do like some of the old hats. Um, yeah, I do like these old hats, especially this one. This one's kind of neat. Oh, that one is kind of cute. I'm going to take that one. And what about this one? Okay, that one has got something wrong with it. Jonathan Richard Ireland. That one, that one's probably okay. Um, grabbed a couple hats and the ducks are pretty too. Sorry, let me show you the ducks. That one's cute. We've got little um, trinket stuff in there. Um, I guess these are bathroom. Sorry, I didn't, like I said, I don't really know the layout very well. So, kind of just gonna... Um, this is a Henschel. This actually looks pretty good. I think I'll take that one too. We'll have to find out what the hats are going to be. And then we have our little trinkets. Now there's other rooms upstairs that we'll go and we'll visit too. And belts. Is it garage also? Yep. Oh, okay. So we'll wander out to the garage. You know, I don't come out here very often. This is not my area. Um, here's like a little Dremel set that this looks like it's probably new. Honestly, I could probably use one of these for myself. So I'm going to take this just because I know that I always need these things for something or another. So we'll just go ahead and we'll take that too. Um, Gosh, I wish Carl was here. He he knows about this type of stuff. Much more than I do. Oh, look at that. And the ghost. All right. Oh, I do love me some ghost. How much is that one? 25? Yeah, we'll take him. Okay, sorry. So you guys saw me grabbing the ghost. Hi. <laughs> no, there's nobody out here. Okay, so we got we got our blow mold. Hello, come on in. Hey, come on in. Okay, that's your pile right there. Are you ready to go? Cause you're running later. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get this stuff. So. Oi. Okay, so we got some hats. Mm. Purse. And all that <laughs> stuff right there. We'll go upstairs too. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, so I was the first one here, and as you can tell, it's always good to be number one. So I did get some treasures. Oh, uh, we got some toys up here. Okay. Is that, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Um, it's a little bigger than I normally like, and it is glass, but you know, I can't help myself. So we're just going to do that. Look at all the little miniatures. Um, 
I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Look at these little Sega games. Oh, these are old McDonald's little Sega games. I don't, I doubt they, they work. No, they're McDonald's. So, yeah, they're not really worth all that much. But, you know, you always have to look because you just don't know. So, the men's um, shipping ships and toys and stuff are really cute. But, you know, I just, it's not my thing. The frogs are cute. I've seen these before. They're, they're, they're very breakable. I know the Bibles are good. Um, I do grab Bibles every so often, but not all the time. We have some, looks like some Boyd's Bears. I do like the little owl. Whoops. See the little price stickers. He doesn't want to stick to the little owl, so I'm going to put him right next to it so he doesn't fall off. And we have the skeletons and stuff. I hope you guys can see all no, of this. We have a thing full of beanie babies. And... Oh, the Christmas room, the Christmas room. Oh, it's always my favorite. Um, I do love all the Barbie ornaments. Um, this might be, um, oh, they're $10, at $10 each. No, that's, so if there is a sticker on here that says $10 each. So obviously I'm not going to take those. So. I'll go ahead and leave those. There's a nativity over here. And then these must be, I love the stocking. That's very pretty with the dog on it. Okay. We got the top of the wedding cake topper. Oh, the little bird's cute. That's, what is that? I'm not exactly sure what that is, but he's, he's cute. Um, nope, that one's empty. I do see like precious moments and stuff like that. We got some sleeping bags. Hmm. I'm surprised I didn't grab anything out of the Christmas room. Usually that's right where I want to be. This is Colonial Williamsburg. Right here, this ornament. Mm -hmm. That's not my favorite. These are the these are the ones they sell in the in the tourist shops at the in Merchant Square. So I mean I I'm used to seeing those just because you know I live here. So um yeah I think we're gonna leave those. I was looking at that. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll tilt you up a little bit. Um, the raccoons up there, the pet the art, but it's not it's not cruel or anything. It's just um just raccoons. Yeah. So I don't think we took anything. I don't think we took anything other than what I'm holding up here. But I'm going to do one more pass through since nobody is up here. Someone's going to have a good time with the, with the, um, the toys. All right, we will head back down the stairs. Then we'll look at some of the breakables. Sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. Do have all the knives and stuff. I do. Um, I do. Got to make sure I check some of these things that pushed back, though. I can hold that for you, so you don't need to take it back up there.
Meadow Mountain Designs. Oh, that's really neat. It's a paperweight. It's pretty. Yeah, it's it was very pretty. All right, I think I'm good here. I'm gonna go and settle up with the lady and I will come back later and show you what I got. All right, here we go, heading into the Goodwill. See what we can find. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is, so why don't we take a look. What is this? Tempero. That doesn't feel great though. What do they mark it up to? Six ninety nine. Yeah, I don't think I. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna do it for us. What we'll do is we will grab. Um, sorry, I just wanted to check the angle on this a little bit. There, that should be pretty good. I just wanted to check the angle, so let's go ahead and do some shopping and see what we can find. All right. It is very quiet in here right now. What are these up here? These are cute. Sonata, leather upper made in India. Those are really pretty. Just a little white sandal. They look almost brand new too. I guess we'll we'll put those in the we'll put those in the cart and we'll check we'll check on those because I like I like that. Okay. So we're, a lot of this hasn't, doesn't look like it's, it's changed too much, but you never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. They, they still look like they need to bring a card out though. It, it's, it doesn't, it's just, it's not as full as, as I'm used to. These are, um, these are made by Esprit. These are actually really kind of cute. These are kind of a, um, a, like a, a rose gold. I do kind of like them. Um, Esprit obviously, you know, has been around a long time. I doubt it has um, a lot of value, but I'm gonna put them in the cart just because I do like the color and I like the fact that they have the cork and the espadrille on them. Okay. These are, um, these are definitely sketchers, so we're gonna put that right back up there. I'm gonna check the end cap, so first, Oh, well now we have two pairs of these. Two, pa two pairs of the LLBs. Well, I passed on the LL beans last time. I think I'll just, I'll leave those, leave those here. I think I'm gonna check the purses first. Since it's quiet back here and I'm not in anybody's way, this is pretty, but I doubt it, um, Oh, this is Guess. That's interesting. That's one I haven't seen before. Some of these are... Oh, well, this is definitely, um, this is definitely a coach. Uh, I've done well with the red before, and this looks, this looks good I don't see um, you know what that might just be worth it I've done well with the red coach bags before so you know what I am gonna and it looks to be in very good shape it as you can tell there's oh wait a minute well darn look at that there's a rip there's a rip right there in the handle that is a shame um, and this is not a, obviously a replaceable um, a replaceable handle so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that let's see what else we can find over here it's 
some of these have been here a little while, but you know, like I said, I find some good stuff in here. So just never know what's gonna be hidden, hidden in here. What is this? Okay, now see, I can't read that label. It's got an embossed label on it, but I can't read it from where I'm at. That says, well, even the, Oh, this is a stone mountain, but this is this is definitely an older stone mountain. Um, it's a pretty blue color, made in the USA. You don't see that that often. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick that in there just because it is more of a vintage style, and people really do like those vintage look purses. You know, they they do the vintage look purses seem to do very well. The, the more the classic ones. This is leather, but it's just okay. No, nope, that doesn't look like it's going to be great. Oh. I did find a really nice um, Brooks Brothers purse here the other day. Um, you know, that's just one of those where you have to you have to really look to see the label because it doesn't always, um, you know, it may not you may not see it at first. This is, okay, I think that says Paloma Picasso, which I know who Paloma Picasso is, but, um, that definitely looks like an older style. Okay, yeah, I don't know if this has um, any value, but I know it's older. I know, I don't know if they're still in business or not. This is a cute little Vera Bradley. I don't think they marked this one up this is kind of a nice little just a little um a simple little like shoulder bag that's not that's not bad i think i'll put that one in the cart too we'll take a look at that one come back here look at this little one it's pretty with the fabric no no labels on that almost looks like it's homemade but i know it's not Let's see what about this one up here is. The snake skin. Ooh, that definitely looks older. Oh yeah, absolutely older. The gold is very tarnished though. I, I do like the style though. It's very classic looking, but I think the, that is a little more tarnished than what I would like. And there's a Kenzie. Okay, so that was that was definitely um yeah, that was definitely a Kenzie. Oh what about this one right here? Pusser. That has an interesting feel to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that one in and then take a look. We, we do have our, our Hogwarts down here. Okay. What is this one back here? That looks like a Victoria's Secrets. Oh, this is an old Worthington. Like I said, look at these vintage bags. That is such a classic looking vintage bag to me. I bet it was a pain in the butt though to do this one with the way these straps are though. Cause look, it's hard to close even now. There we go. It's got some wear right there in the corner, but it, it's like I said, it's an interesting, it's interesting seeing the, the, the older styles. Okay, let's go ahead and look through the, um, the makeup bags and the stuff here because you can't you can't skip over this stuff you know vintage vintage makeup bags um they do very well this one is Shirley okay get this put it put in what about that okay that's nope and the purple Okay, see, this is a Laura Ashley bag. And so obviously, um, I don't know if Laura Ashley, but um, it's it's definitely the shape of it has is, is not good anymore. But this would be something that, you know, I would classify as, um, you know, the type of thing you probably should check on. Because like I said, the older makeup bags, 
um, especially if they were like a, a, a Dior or, or a Chanel, you know, people will toss them in here. Um, you know, even if they were like a giveaway makeup bag, the older ones are still worth checking. So that's, that's something that I've learned. I've, I've, I've picked up a few really great makeup bags in here. Um, you know, so that, that's something to keep, keep an eye on. This one is Guess, this little guy. And I know some of this has been here for a few days, so probably not anything I want to, I want to grab. That's a, that's a fossil, but it's pretty, um, I mean, sorry, that's a Vera Bradley, but it's pretty dirty. Okay, so what is this? H. Butler. Okay, so this is this one feels nice. Um, I'm gonna put it in the cart. I'm not familiar with this, but it's 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 heavy. Um, it has a real nice feel to it. I'm not familiar with the name, so you know, let's go ahead and put that in the in the cart. You know, you always have to check on those type of things. I do see some of these hats down here. This is Neff. That's kind of an interesting one. I did hit an estate sale this morning and I did pick up a couple of um, men's hats, really interesting ones too. So that was kind of um, kind of nice to see those. Now what are these up here? Okay, see these look like the, these almost look like the Esprit ones too. No, these are not, these are Adrian, uh, I think I can pronounce Vitadini, Vitadini, maybe that's how you pronounce that, but yeah, I do see the Brooks. These, these are Chacos, definitely Chacos. Um, Chacos, Chacos can be washed. I mean, I've, I've washed Chacos before. Um, so these are actually, you know, even though it's got dirt on them, they, these wash up pretty, pretty, pretty easily. So I'm really just looking for rips, damage, the bottoms being separating or worn areas. Um, on them, but you know what? These aren't bad, so we'll put these. We'll put these in the cart too. It's kind of nice. I got a nice cart today. It rolls. It rolls nicely. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like I'm fighting with the cart, which is is kind of nice. What are these? Saludos. Um, they did mark them up to 12, but you know what? They're very nice looking. Nice leather platform on them. I think this is something we probably should check to see. So we'll put those in. Now what are these? Volga. Okay, these are the, the heels on those were coming off. So we're gonna put those back. These are the AT and Anyes, but as you can see, that heel's got something something wrong with it. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave that too. This is an interesting pattern. Oh, these are Clark's. Cloud steppers. They are very com very cushiony. Mm, I think I'm gonna pass. I'm, I, I'm. I don't like selling fabric um, all that much, just because, like I said, if it has a single stain on it or something, then they'll they'll send it back to you. So, and I I am not the greatest at at checking fabric. So these are these are gonna be Cat and Jacks. We got some Tommy Hilfiger's. The Brightons are still here. We do have some Ann Kleins. I've been seeing a lot of new Ann Kleins here. Um, I think that is literally because we have um, an outlet store here. Now, what are these? These are Bob's memory foams. Oh, look how nice those are. So these are these are actually Skechers. These almost look like they're brand new, but I think I'm gonna pass on those. We're at that time of year where I, I definitely wanna be choosy with what I'm doing. These are, um, these are Antonio Milani's. They're cute, but I, I think I'm gonna leave those too. See, now, I, now I'm all focused on the, 
Hold on, I'm gonna try to get this to sit up here. These boots aren't wanting to stay on the shelf. Okay, there, sorry. Making sure they don't fall off because you know if, if they're gonna fall, I'm gonna be the one that knocks them off, so. These are interesting. I don't know what they are or who they are, but they look, they definitely have an Italian look to it. They've got a stock number. Okay, they are, they're, they say they're a size 41. So, uh, okay, so I would definitely say European. Oh, there is something in here. These are made by, I can't read it in that one. Let me see if I can catch it in this shoe. I'm not really sure what they are, but they are very fancy. Um, this one seems, the flower seems to be coming off though. So I am gonna put those back because I, like I said, the last thing I want is have an item where something falls off it and then, you know, it's gonna come back. But these, these are really cool. I do like them. Um, a 41, a 41 would be a bigger size between um, a nine and a 10, um, depending on the maker. I, I mean, you know, the maker, the maker always, always has um, a lot to do with the sizing. The high, especially with the high-end brands. The, the high-end brands, um, in my mind, run small. So if you get, you know, like a real fancy European brand, it, it's, it seems to run a little bit smaller than um, what normally would be that, considered that size. Um, and narrow, too. Narrow is, is another way that I would, I would describe that. These are Antonio Milani's too. Those are really cute. I can hear my, I can hear my phone buzzing. Sorry. I'm just going to make sure everything's okay. Okay, good. All right. Sometimes if I hear my phone buzzing, I just got to check and make sure. Okay. So we did see those dance goes the other day, but I know that they have um, too much wear on them. What are these? I'm not even sure what those are, but we're gonna we're gonna put that back up. And let's turn around and we'll go down the the aisle. It is warm in here today. Okay, well, we'll try this side and see if we catch something. That's a fancy looking shoe, but it, it is coming apart in spots. So I'm gonna put that right back up there. Those are interesting. They'd be hard, really hard to keep clean, so I'm gonna put that back. Now these are really cute. These are, are these, I think they're Clarks. Oh, they are Clarks. It's kind of a real interesting looking shoe. They, they marked them up for some reason though. I'm, I'm kind of surprised because usually, usually they don't, they don't mark the Clarks up. So that kind of, that kind of surprised me a little bit. These are floor shine. Gosh, ooh, those are light. Kind of caught me off guard how light those were. Now, what are these? CNA Trop. Wow, it's a nice looking shoe. It's a 46. Um, interesting. This is... <laughs> this is this is a weird one. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put that back. That's that's kind of a strange thing to me. It's probably it might be really good, but I think I'm gonna just leave that alone. Sometimes if I question the the quality of an item, I, I'll 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 leave it behind. Especially like if it, if I'm holding a purse and I don't think it's real, or if I even question if it's real, I just leave it. You know, nobody nobody wants to send something off that's you know, not authentic. 
And it's, it, like I said, it's very hard when you send out a lot of items. You know, you're constantly having to be very careful. And, and sometimes you miss things. Well. Oh, well, we do have a card over here. Oh, I do love these guys. I have actually made and painted several of these. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy this because I have always enjoyed these. Even if they need to be touched up or, or repainted, I've done that. So I am going to take, and this is actually, in case for those of you who don't know, this is a Kimple Reindeer. It was made by the Kimple Mold Company. So I'm going to... I'm going to take the reindeer and I'm going to look to see if there's another one. Because usually these came in multiples. They had sets of them. So let's see if we can find another one. What is this? Microprocessor. I'm not sure what that is. I do want to look at the, you know, like, like Carl and I, like you've seen us do. I'm always looking for... Um, the next uh, television series. We're still um, we're still watching the one that he came home with the other night, but I am always looking for the next one. What is this? Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, so I'm gonna leave that down there. Keep my trying to keep my hair out of your out of your thing. What is this? Mickey and Minnie Mouse silicone tablet cover. This was actually from Ross. So I'm going to leave that. Okay. I am looking to see if there's any more of the reindeer over here. Okay. Hmm. I do check the trinkets. You know, like I said, I, you, you can find some really great stuff up here. This is this was just TJ Maxx, just to let you know. No, I might have grabbed the I might have got the only reindeer. It's kind of look it's kind of looking that way. Yeah. It's usually too crowded over here to, to walk through here, but today it's not. So I guess we're going to just kind of come through this section and see if uh, anything catches our eye. We got some silver here. Silver's not my favorite thing to polish. All right, let's go down here and look at this stuff and see um, if there's anything over here that we like. Oh, these are cute. Look how sweet these are. Who are these made by? Well, these are made in China. No, they are China. They were made in England. They're adorable. What would this, what would this be? A, a, an, exp an espresso glass? Look at that. There's 22 pieces for $7.99. I, I think I'm going to pass on, on the, the small glass for today. I, I'm still, I'm still processing glass, <laughs> trying to get it put away on the shelves in the storage unit. So I think, I think I'm going to be careful with that for right now. You can come down here though and look at the we can look at the dishware. That doesn't mean I won't pick up something, but it's, it's gonna have to be something really special.
a lot of work cleaning um, dishes and checking for flaws and I do a pretty good job but not all hi and I just I just heard a, a, a nice man bring a cart out so we're gonna go and we're gonna go and look at that oh that's pretty I like this one that's really pretty keep life simple that is a really pretty mug it's got an iridescent to it that's, this is a false graph winter berry. Okay. It's a dog. A very delicate weenie dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That one is really pretty. I don't know if I want to take on any more mugs, but I think I might because that is just a gorgeous one, so. We'll go ahead and put that down here next to the reindeer. Okay. Oh, that's cute. The little charcuterie set. Let's see what's down here, too. silicon set okay we have more Christmas down there now I see a big piece that must oh that was that was definitely a, like a cookie jar or something okay all right hey everyone I wanted to do a quick recap of the things that I bought today um this is going to be a two-part a two-part recap um, for the video. So I did go to an estate sale this morning. And then after that, I, I stopped at the Goodwill. And so it was kind of a, kind of a spur of the moment type of thing. So this is what I got at the estate sale. I was the first one there. Um, I did get the blow mold, the ghost blow mold. Um, he is, he's downstairs. I'm going to clean him before I don't want to bring him in the house until I, until I wipe him off. Cause you know, he was outside. So, um, I did get the ghost blow mold at the estate sale. I did get a couple of these Nintendo DS games. Um, I don't know if they're worth anything, but this one is actually brand new. This one is still sealed. So I did grab those. I did grab two of these Mara Mexico, um, um, mugs. I have, I have bought and sold Mara Mexico mugs before. They're a very heavy, um, stoneware mug. Um, I did get a couple of men's newsboy Irish hats. Um, I haven't been picking these up in a while, but uh, just something about this one just made me, made me smile. I love the colors on it. So, um, I did get two of those. The Junie and Burke is in such beautiful condition. Um, so this was a, like a really nice find. Um, these mock crock, uh, bags by Junie and Burke are a little bit older now. Um, and so their value has gone up a lot. Um, so, you know, once I, once I take my measurements and figure everything out, um, I have a feeling this, that purse will do uh, a lot better than, um, some would expect. Um, I did buy this Dremel stuff. I'm not sure if I'm keeping it cause I do use a lot of that type of stuff. So, um, I did pick it up. It is new. So we'll see. I did get this really pretty butterfly, um, trinket box just because I thought it was, it was really pretty. There was a lot of butterfly stuff, um, at the estate sale, if you didn't notice. And I did, I bought this beautiful, um, cruel, um, uh, their roses. It's beautifully framed. I mean, honestly, it's professionally framed. It's got matting. I paid $8 for it. Um, it's big. You know, I, I never like shipping them this big, but I can't leave this behind. It's just, for me, it's too pretty. And I I just enjoy these type of pieces so much. So that um, came home with me as well. So then I stopped at the Goodwill and I didn't get a huge amount of stuff, but this kind of caught me off guard. Paloma Picasso purses. Now I know these are older. I remember when, um, you know, Paloma Picasso was, was, you know, more popular in this that, but these purses do really well on eBay. So I think I spent, what did I spend? Um, I think I spent like 12 bucks on this one. Um, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes for 50 or 60 bucks. So, you know, I was kind of surprised at that, but I knew, I remember back when she was making things. So I wasn't that surprised. I also got a pair of Chacos. Those need to be washed, but 
I only paid the $7.99 for them. So, you know, Chacos are a pretty easy sale if you get them cheap enough. Um, I did grab the reindeer, which I will probably touch up his paint a little bit, and he'll go to my um, antique booth. And I did grab this mug. I was trying to stay away from breakables, but this was only a dollar, and um, I like the saying on it, keep life simple. Um, it's, it's a beautiful iridescent. It's a big, big mug, big coffee mug. So... Um, I did grab that. So my total spend between um, the Goodwill and um, and um, the estate sale this morning was $88. Um, so not bad at all. Um, it's kind of a wide variety of stuff. But, um, you know, like I said, $88 is, is really not a bad day for getting, you know, a good variety um, of items. And some will go to my booth. You know, the, the blow mold and obviously this little reindeer are going to go to the booth. But um, thank you so much for watching. If you if you haven't noticed, this is my listing room, and it's a little bit it's it's a little bit of a mess. It's not too bad. This is where I I do all my listings. So I just wanted to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be great. You can find the eBay store by uh, clicking on the description below. And as usual, um, you know I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.